but I have no time to get high now. Thank you for calling Clear the Silver Ridge. This is Stephanie. How can I help you? Hey, Stephanie. Uh, you guys do piercing, right? Yeah, we do. Oh, great. Me and my twin brother are going to come in. Um, we're going to get our nips pierced. We don't do that. We only do ears. Oh, okay. But... So you can't do, like, nips or... Hold on, let me get my twin brother. Randy. Yeah. Huh? I, they don't think they can pierce our nips. Why not? I don't know. Why not? Because we don't do that. We're not licensed to do that. We only do ears. What's the license? Uh, hello. Oh, that's hello. Randy. Hello. How are you? So you don't, you don't do nips? No, we only do ears. Oh. Uh, so it's a different license is what you're saying? Yeah, because you have to do it with a hollow needle, so only... Um, you can just use the gun on us. Have that. So the hollow needle is just for nips? Well, it's for, and for like cartilage. So anything um, but ears, you use a hollow needle? No, we use an earring. We use the actual earring to pierce with it. Uh, do you do noses? No, we what only do ears. Nose. What if we signed a waiver or something? Because we're going to be at the mall anyway. or... We can't, I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. Um, is it because, like, I heard that if you use the ear gun other places, you can get an ear infection somewhere else. Like on your ween. Yeah. And oh, crap. Oh, hold on. Check it out. Peanuts. Here. You have to get ear drops for your nips. Yeah. Check it out. Sorry, Peanuts doing a bass song. Is that okay? It's is Peanut. That okay, you guys? Peanuts doing a bass song. Oh, dude, it's Peanut from 311. He's got his nips pierced. Hear that? Claire. We have a hello. Oh, they hung up. I was gonna blow their mind by telling them that we have a friend that, that their name rhymes with their store. Oh shit! <laughs> we should call. We could call her back and just be like, real quick. Just real quick before we forgot to tell you. Peanut. And you can just say hi to them. Yeah, just a quick hi will do. See, maybe it'll start a friendship. She's not going to answer, is she? What do they have caller ID at Claire's now? What are they? All of a sudden, Claire decided to get caller ID. Are we not asking? Oh, that was loud. Sorry. Are we not asking enough Claire, uh, Blair specific questions? I don't know. Blair, are you upset? How can I help you? Yeah, hey, real quick. Um, I called earlier. Me and my twin brother wanted to get our nips pierced. We know you can't do that. Um, but uh, I just wanted to let you know our friend Blair is here and her name rhymes with Claire. Forgot to tell you that. Hello, it's Blair. Okay. I was just wondering, um, I was thinking I really wanted to get my penis pierced, but I am a we little... We don't do that. I'm sorry. We only do ears. Is there anything else I can help you with? Oh, no, yeah, you've been ears. really helpful. I, I just... Do you have an do ear... Do you know where to go? Do you have an earring that looks like it got ran over by a car? No. No, I'm sorry. Could you pierce... We only do ears. Could you I'm do... Sorry. Pierce my ear with a, a penis piercing? No. But put it don't. in my ear. Is there anything I can help you with? I'm so sorry. We're really busy right now. Do you have now. any hockey stick... No, you're not busy. No, we do don't. Do you have any I'm hockey sorry. stick have shaped pendants? Hey, don't you... <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's so goddamn busy once we have some questions. I know. Claire's at the mall. <laughs> yeah. We're it's really super busy. busy. You're not today, fucking busy at all. On a Wednesday. We should find out what store's next to them and see if they can <laughs> check on Claire's. See busy. how yeah, see how how fucking <laughs> busy Claire's is. It's Bath and Body Works. Okay, let's call Bath, Bath and Body, Body Works Body and say, hey. Can you check on Claire at Claire's to see if she's actually busy? That's gonna be good. Yeah. Because I call bullshit on that. Claire's, Claire's is not too busy. There's more Eastern than one person working Ave. there. Damn it. That's not the one. This is going to take a while. My mom really loved those Michael Jackson jokes. I feel like if she just gave my comedy a chance. Yeah. Sprinkle some Michael Jackson humor in. If I just comedy. became a Michael Jackson comic, I guess if you let me borrow your jokes. They're not mine. They're the world's. Yeah, everybody is allowed to access those Why don't you jokes. Do, just do, while Randy's trying to figure out uh, how to get in touch with Claire's next door's neighbors, why don't you just do like five minutes of your act? Claire. Brendan. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage. Uh, 
She's uh, originally from Orange County, lives in New York, but is moving back soon. Uh, you've seen her on MTV. Put your hands together for Blair Saki. Mm. <laughs> Call it Bath and Body Works. Ooh, saved by the bell. Hey, help me help you. Oh, hey, how's it going? Um, this is uh, Bath and Body Works, right? Yes, it is. Okay, you're next door to Claire's. We are, yeah. Um, we have a permanent location that's being remodeled right now, so we're in our temporary location. It's still next to Claire's. It's just in between Claire's and the Perfect. mattress farm, though. Can you tell me, you see, I was just, uh, the woman at Claire's, Stephanie, was, do you know her? Uh-huh. She just was rude to my brother on the phone who wanted to get his ears pierced, and she said they were very busy there, and I was just wondering if you could peek in and let me know if they are, in fact, busy, because I don't think they are. I think she just wanted to hang up on my brother. Uh, sir, I'm sorry. I'm, this is a business, so we're busy working as well. No, don't you do you. that. I'm going, to call the, I'm going to call the mattress store and have them check on you, because you're not busy. Uh, good, well... You're I just, can't leave a store, though. You can I, peek I'm around the corner. I'm responsible to stay here. I can't leave the store. Okay, can you call Stephanie and ask her how busy they are over there? No, sir, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do that for another business. Why? It's going to be between you guys. I don't want to get Don't you care involved. about justice? I'm sorry? Don't you care about justice? <laughs> sir, that's really between you guys. I'm sorry that they were rude to you, but that's really going to have to be between you and Claire. They weren't rude to me. They were rude to my brother, which is worse than being rude to me, let me tell you. Do you know Peanut no. from 311? Check it out. Peanut's doing a bass solo. Got it. I'll just play the bass solo while you go check on Claire's. Oh, I'm sorry. It's hard to hear you. What was that? Just go check on Claire's. Just tell me if there's anybody going in or out of the store. No, sir. I'm not going to get involved. It's going to be between you and Claire's. I'm sorry that you had a bad experience, but you know, if you have an issue, you can always talk to them or their corporate office. Can I talk to your, your I manager? You. Can I speak with your manager? You want to speak with my manager? Yep. Sure, let me get you my So there's manager. two people you know, there, so just have her watch the store while you check on Claire's. Sir, I'm not going okay, to. Okay, I'd, I'd like to speak to your manager, ma'am. Absolutely. Hang on a moment. Thank you. Oh, dude. We could call the mattress store, too. I got it queued up. <laughs> Be great to do, like, a... If we can patch in Bath and Body Works to Claire's and make them talk to each other. I can't do that from my right here, though. Peanut. She's got good bass solos. Customer's always right. That's what really gets my goat here. Worst part about this is the customer's always right. That is the worst part. <clears throat> Me well, she's not a snitch, so that was good. Oh, I guess so you could look at it that way. Yeah. yeah. Hello? Hello? Ma'am? 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 Hello? Ma'am? Sir? Sir, ma'am? Damn, I gotta go get some batteries at 7-Eleven. This is Whitney. How can I help you? Hey, Whitney, are you the manager there, ba Bath and I, Body I am. and Beyond? Um, well, my name's Brendan, and my twin brother Randy called Claire's to get his ears pierced, and uh, the woman at Claire's was very rude. Said she was very busy. That the store was very busy, and she hung up on my brother. And I asked your employee to please just check and let me know if anybody is in fact in Claire's. Because I think that Stephanie at Claire's is lying and they don't have any customers and she's not busy and she was just rude to my brother and hung up yeah. on him. So I was just curious if you could let me know if anybody, if Claire's is in fact busy. Because um, I know you're next door. Uh, well, we, we are And next I know you're working on a new location. I know you're right now, yeah. you're next to Claire's in the mattress so store. We're, we're, we've actually moved down a little bit further, so we're not as close to them. So I, I personally can't leave because I am the manager. But you can send the other girl um, over. But I can't send her because I can't be left by myself. We actually have a security guard in here right now because we've had that a lot of That sounds perfect then. Why couldn't you be left by yourself? You don't trust yourself with the security guard? He'll take care well, of you. I, no, I understand, but I'm, 
I can't, I can't, it's not between us and Claire's, like, I mean, I, the thing I can recommend is just call Claire's back and ask for their district manager. We tried to call, then she's being rude, I think she's drunk or something. Yeah, I mean, that's between this you and Claire's, I, I mean, I wish we could help, What if but... somebody, what if one of your customers went over there and got injured, because she's not, because they're not being safe over there? I mean... You know, like like she said, this is between you guys and Claire's. We can't get involved just, in that. You're her boss. Just tell her, just march right over there. Look at Claire's for one second. We could already be done if we all just cooperated. We'd be done already. Well, I'm really sorry. I mean, there's nothing we can do on our end. I mean, I'm not going to have my associate leave to go see if Claire's is busy. I'm sorry. I mean, I'm, I apologize that they were rude to you, but we can't leave our store to can get involved just, in something can you make we have her, no part of. Can you make her call Claire's right now while while we wait we, and listen? Well, we don't have Claire's phone number. We well, go next door and ask them what their phone number is. And then while you're at it, I'm, see how know, busy I'm they are. I'm going to actually hang up with you right now because no, 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 no. Really okay, I'm going to put my end. brother on the phone. Hold on. Randy? Hello? Yeah. Okay, looks like we have to go to the mattress store now. They don't know who they're messing with. <laughs> a psychotic person <laughs> who's holding a dog. The squeaky wheel gets the oil. I think she has to go out. Thank you for calling Mastro. More stay money, Steve. Happy to share. Wait, hold on. You just said a bunch of stuff really fast. What was that? Uh, thank you for calling Mattress Firm, where you save money and sleep happy. This is Jaren. That was fast the way you said it that first time. That's uh, Jaren? Yes. That's a cool name. It's like Jared, but with an N. That is correct. Oh, my brother's name's Randy. I'm, I have a twin brother. Um... I have a little bit of problem. I have a bit of a problem with Bath and Body Works and Claire's, which are the two stores next to you, I believe. Okay. Yes. Can you? Is, how many people are working at your place right now? Uh, just myself. Oh, it's just you. Would it be yeah. hard for you to just go peek over at Claire's and let me know if, how busy they are? Because the girl, Stephanie, do you know her? I, I I've been in the store for like a week. Um, st- the girl at Claire's, I think she's high on something. She hung up on my twin brother who just wants to get his ears, his ear pierced. And she said that they were very busy there. And I don't think they're busy. I don't think I'd bet it. I would bet nobody's in Claire's right now. And if you could just confirm that for me, I would. I can, I'll I can come in and I'll buy a mattress. You can do that. <laughs> no worries. Uh, I can run over there and take a peek. Um, I'll hold. Is it uh, is Claire's and, and Bath and Body Works are they the same store or are they separate no, stores? No, it's Claire's is right next to Bath and Body Works. Okay, give me your number and I'll call you right back. Okay, it's three two three. Go you ahead. Have, oh, okay, you have a pen. Three two three, nine three nine. Okay. Three two three nine eight nine. I'm sorry, two six six three. Nine eight nine two six six three. Yes. And what was your first name? Brendan. Yeah, tell him to ask okay, for give me just a couple minutes. Tell Thanks a lot, Jaron. Yeah, my pleasure. Thank you. Bye. Just ask for Brendan. So cooperative. Jaron is a. Bo- he's. A- <clears throat> he's our homie. Jaren really was down for the cause. That's the difference between men and women. Yeah. Men are men snitches. Are, no, men are chill <laughs> and cool. And women are just like are caught up in snitches. their... Uh, men are fucking snitches. Jaren's going over there to try and dust Stephanie. He wants to... Are we going to get... Will we hear the call when it comes? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> Jaren wants to put Stephanie in the slammer, in the mall slammer. No, nobody's going to the slammer. I just want to find out if she's lying. Yeah, we got to get to the bottom of this. You're like a private eye, Brendan. I'm just, I just don't let things go. <laughs> yeah, I uh, admire I'm your suing determination. My old you are? For $200. Are you really? Yeah. I've been I in litigation with my high school get, for 12 uh, years. For, for here? Yeah. Really? Yeah. For the carpet? Yeah. And I looked, at, I looked into it. They have a history of doing this to yeah. people. It's like, I don't care about the money. I just, I'll, uh, I'll fuck you up, bitch. <laughs> bitch? <laughs> Fucking, she's a scoundrel. She's a filthy, filthy animal, this woman. <laughs> yeah, what's up, Donald Trump? <laughs> yeah, she is. She's a disgusting, filthy beast. She's a thief. <laughs> she's a liar. Most landlords, I guess, are, though. Yeah. But she's a slumlord. Some are really nice. 
Yeah, I'm sure. And you know, I can and see they it. Fix go, your I'm stuff sure it goes both and they ways. They say hello this, and they pick this up your mail when you're gone. Doesn't pick up your. She doesn't fix stuff. She makes you pay for uh, repairs on her own shitty uh, stuff. They won't change light bulbs. They charge you for. They charge you for carpet cleaning when they tear the carpets out to put in uh, yeah. hardwood floors. That to clean them. That's they have to clean them before they, they tear take the, them. They tear them out, take them to and a cleaner. And they did a deep clean in the apartment before they tore out the carpets and put dust everywhere. Yeah. So. I'm really sorry, Brendan. It's not a, you know, it's just about the principle. This woman's been getting away with this for a long time. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't care about the $275, which is the total amount. You're a really principled guy I've learned today. <laughs> oh, yeah. So don't fucking rip me off and don't lie to me if your yeah. store's not busy. If, you didn't, if you're charging me for carpet cleaning and apartment cleaning when you didn't do it, then you're a liar. And if you're telling my twin brother yeah. that he can't get, he his, can't get his ears pierced. pierced and that you're too busy to ask questions about hockey stick pendants and uh, what was the other thing you asked her? I want to see if they can get an earring that looks like it's been run over by a oh, right. car. And if you don't have time for that and you say and you hang up on my own flesh and blood... My twin brother. That's my brother right there, folks. Oh. Fucking stand it up for me. I you love it. You fucked up. Blood is thicker than water. You know what? You fuck with me. You fuck with my friends. But you fuck with my family. You fucking. You, 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 you done you, fucked you, up. You done fucked up. You done up. fucked up. You having fun, Blair? Are we talking about this uh, earring situation too much? No, no. I love earrings. How often do you get your nails done, Blair? Um, once Constantly, right? No. They always look done. Oh really? Well, they're that's they're. I'm getting blinded by that color. Thank Maybe you. Maybe tone it down. Did a bit. you paint them that color? No, 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 no. I just wanted to do something cheerful that reflected my personality. <laughs> For me, yeah. Like so you got the the black I'm widow. Trying, I'm just trying to date spider. myself right now, you know. <clears throat> yeah. So you, they're pink. They're bright pink. Yeah, I do like pink. Mm-hmm. You're a girl. Yeah. Classic. Yeah. You're Classic a girl. girl. You're a girl. You'd lie about being busy on the phone. You'd paint your fingernails pink. You're a yeah. girl. What's Absolutely, a, but you know what? I'm not a snitch. Yeah, right. You're but total what's, snitch. when's the last time you lied? Uh, I don't really lie very much. Not even white lies to save save <laughs> someone's feelings. No, remember last time I was supposed to do this podcast, and you said I was lying, but I was really sick. Oh, you oh, were lying. You were lying. No, you said. <laughs> I was lying, but finally, I wasn't the truth lying. Comes out. So you were actually no. lying. See, that's all I'm about is just that justice finally. I it's sent like, you a well, picture. Well, the truth finally comes out. So. No, I sent you both a picture of how sick I was, and you it's said fake. I was still lying. Was yeah, fake. I don't remember that. I don't remember that either. It was fake. I don't remember the picture. Were you topless in it? No, Brendan. That's inappropriate. Strike it from the record. Yeah, don't even answer that. That's gross. Blair, I don't li- even. I only said. All I know is when I get sick, I take my shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. I take one ice cube for each nipple. I take my shirt off and I lay on the beach and I drink a Corona. That sounds yeah. like an <laughs> that's ancient what, that's what I, do I throw my cell phone in the ocean and crack open a Corona. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. Fuck yeah. And then I drink lemon uh, juice I was, and You get cayenne. in the Corona zone. Yeah. Is that a thing? A, corona yeah, zone. We should get sponsored by Randy Corona. Randy likes to go into it on Let's the beach call when he's a sick. beer place. Get sponsored by Corona. Uh, <laughs> how long until Jaren calls us back? I know. Should we just call him back? See, Jaren, <laughs> Jaren, what if Jaren was just full of shit and acted I mean, like he was on your team? Took the number. That's smarter than the way the other people handled it. Mm-hmm. The women. He's smart. He's like, what will get me off the phone? Like, those ladies yeah. were on the phone forever. If he's not really calling us back, he got off the phone so quick. Yeah, he's the smartest one <laughs> in that he's mall. He's a genius. Who's Fine. next door to the mattress store? There's Let's call them to check on Jared. There's a lot of stores. We could just have everybody spy. You know, the, you know what they say: if you see something, say something. Yeah. For sure, for sure, for sure. Have Have you ever done anything? Have you ever snitched in an airport where you're like, that guy looked a little too Middle Eastern for my tastes? No, I haven't. And he's got a suspicious brown paper bag. They were like, Oh, we're getting a call. It's Jared. Yeah. You ready? Yep. Hello. Hello. Hey, Brendan. Hey, how's it going, Jared? Good. Hey, uh, best I can tell is about three people in there and just the one lady working. Okay. All right. Three customers then. Yeah. Thanks a lot, Jaron. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no worries, man. All right. I'll stop in and say hey later. <laughs> All right. Sounds good. All right. Take care, brother. All right. Thanks. Three people. <laughs> I can't believe, believe Jaron <laughs> went to Claire's. 
He must fucking hate Stephanie. No, yeah. he's just bored out of his skull. He's Stephanie a probably in probably fucking played with his heart or something. She did. She for like sure. she fucked him and then fucked another guy. He didn't know who Stephanie was. <clears throat> How yeah. do you have the motives to go to Claire's? Let's call Claire's back. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Stephanie, but my guy. Are we gonna throw him under the bus? Say we won't say who. We don't want. <laughs> they Steph- work at a mar- mattress store. No, because we don't want her to go get mad at Jaren because he hooked us up. Well, it would be fun if. I don't want to pit okay. them again. I mean, unless I'm fine pitting people against Stephanie. But- we could see if Stephanie can get. We'll say, hey, I'm trying to get in touch with my friend Jaren at the mattress store. Can you go see if he's okay? <laughs> Uh, or we just let it drop. I mean, Stephanie's not going to play any of our games anyway. No. We'll just say, hey, we call a business that's close to you. They uh, went over and looked, and it doesn't seem like it's that busy. doesn't seem like you're that busy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and that's I it. I cannot believe you go. Hey, Brendan. Uh, so the best I can tell is three people. Uh, you know what? Let's have a good sa- day. Let's save Jaren's number. Yeah. We'll have him, uh, we'll have him check up on some other stores. <clears throat> Maybe he'll be like our new, what was that girl's name? Cat? Katie or Catherine? Oh, Katie, yeah. yeah. Mouse milk. Mouse milk, yeah. Good good memory. Thanks, Hi, Claire. So, Marin, did you call to ask about your person today? I'm sorry? Uh, thank you for calling Claire. So now, how can I help you? Oh, hey. Yeah, we were calling about ear piercings earlier. And yeah? my twin brother wanted to know if you had earrings that looked like they were run over by cars. And No, we don't. And whoever, was I, were we talking to you? Or is this Stephanie? Or No. Oh, well, we were talking to somebody. Is your name Stephanie? No, it's not. Okay. Well, we had another, whoever we were talking to said that they were ve- that you were re- very busy at the store and they hung up on us. But we had a, uh, one of the businesses that are close to your store and they checked in on it. And they said that you weren't very busy, that there were only like three people there and uh, they were just looking at stuff. So oh, really? Because we just there? had a big rush leave right now. A big, here a few mm, minutes ago. Not according to somebody who just checked. Big, do you consider three customers a big rush? Three customers? There, there was more than that in here before. She just left here a few minutes ago. Do you? Um, sh- okay. Do you want me to get the uh, person on the line who checked up on you? And you can. Uh, no, that's fine. I talked to her in store. What? No, no. The the person who who said that you you weren't busy. You guys yeah, are- the one from Bath and Body Works. I was, I was in here when she came in. She came in. She, they, she said she wouldn't come in. No, and we had another one. We had another spy come and check on you because the Bath and Body Works weren't cooperating. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. We were busy. No, um, we that's my whole point. You weren't, like you weren't busy. You weren't busy. You were never busy. And Bath and Body Works, that, they're full of liars too. Do you have any earrings that look like like fishing hooks? Um, just the dangling ones. Dangling ones. How about, yeah. do you have any earrings that say, like, that have letters? Yes. Do you have all the letters in the alphabet? No. What letters do you have? Um, we have, uh, what is it, A through E, and then J, K, L, M. Oh, that's pretty good. So wait, so the girl from Bath and Body Works came over, and what did she say? Uh, she was just seeing. She was just asking uh, if somebody came by. If somebody came by. Huh. Do you know those girls over at Bath and Body Works? Yeah. They were. Uh, well, you're, who? What's your name? You're cool. This is I'm his brother. Oh, I'm the, I'm the manager here. Oh, we like you. Yeah, um, yeah, we don't have any earrings that are run over uh, uh, by cars, and uh, sorry that uh, Stephanie hung up on you earlier. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> That's we all we were Is there anything else for. I can help you out with? No. Just admit that you were never busy, and then we'll be cool. Um, sorry, you were. <laughs> well, all right, well, you have a nice day, Two right? out of three isn't bad. You too. I love you. Love you. Hey, hey are you, are you, will you marry <laughs> Thanks for being on the podcast, Blair. Thanks, Blair.